I think there's something wrong with the battery in my van because the heater didn't work. Oh, it's cold out there. Okay, good morning, folks, and it is a very beautiful morning. It's bitterly cold, but it's a very beautiful morning. It's very calm. There's a nice valley fog, and the air is just beautifully clear. But I'm out this morning to photograph Venus, and Venus right now is in its crescent phase. So planets can be split into two categories, inferior planets and superior planets. And it's nothing to do with one being better than the other. Inferior planets are closer to the sun than us, and superior planets are further away from the sun than us. So because Venus is closer to the sun, it goes through phases, much like the moon. So imagine there's a bright light source over there, the sun, and there's a person further away from the sun than us, over on the hill over there they would be fully illuminated by that light source. So Mars, Jupiter and Saturn, when we see them, they're always pretty much fully illuminated. Sometimes you get a bit of a darker edge on one side, but because they're so much further away from the sun than us, we only ever see them pretty much fully illuminated. But now imagine there's a person, or a sheep even, <laughs> that is closer to the sun than us. We only see the light that catches the side of it, and that's why Venus goes through phases because it's closer to the sun than us right now, and the light of the sun is only catching the side of Venus. So I'm shooting at a 400 mil, which is enough, but I'm gonna try and check the two times extender on, see if I can get a bit more zoomed in. And I'm currently shooting Venus rising behind two of my favorite little mountains. Penavan and Corndy in the Brecon Beacons in South Wales. It's been a while since I made a vlog from Wales. Make sure you stick around to the end of today's video because I'm going to show you how I planned today's shot. But if you're in the business of learning new skills, you should definitely check out the sponsors of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community which has thousands of classes on all creative topics you could possibly think of. Photography, videography, video editing, graphic design, animation, and even astrophotography. I'm sure you guys would really appreciate the astrophotography and nightscape courses available on Skillshare. I recently completed Marquez Brownlee's YouTube success class, and even though he's a tech channel, I picked up so many tips for planning and scripting, visuals and storytelling and hopefully you guys have noticed that the quality of my videos has gone up recently because i've learned so much from this one course alone 
And I even watched some of the lessons whilst I was on an aeroplane because you can access Skillshare from your smartphone or your tablet and you can download classes for offline viewing. Like how awesome is that? So if you'd like to give Skillshare a try, Skillshare is giving away a one month free trial to the first 1000 people that follow the link in the video description down below. You get one month completely free. You can try as many of the classes as you like. So what are you waiting for? Well, at, at least wait until the end of this video because I'm going to teach you how to plan these amazing photographs. But let's get back to the vlog. Whew. All right, so I've got the two times on now. Definitely a bit better detail in Venus. Wow. Um, but now I can only get one of the mountains in. And I'm at full stretch. I'm at 800 mil, F11, ISO 640, one over 60 seconds. And... I'm shooting in silent shooting mode because in silent shooting mode it doesn't fire the mechanical shutter and that mechanical shutter can cause vibrations which would be visible in the image at this sort of focal length. And I've just put my Sony on with the intervalometer, the built-in intervalometer, so it's taking a photo every second and then maybe we can stack for noise reduction but at the very least at the very least, we can pick the best, sharpest image. But wow, it's moving so quickly. Oh, so all's going well. Definitely more detail at 800 mil. And I just check in the images with the zoom and there's a few hikers standing up on top of Penavan. It's quite a popular place for people to go to watch the sunrise. So there's some nice silhouetted figures on top of the mountain and I'm hoping we can zoom in and crop on the image um, and those people will stand out as well. That's going to be really cool to have a nice sort of human element to a shot with the Crescent Venus. How cool is that? Oh, it's such a beautiful morning. I'm looking forward to the sun popping up over the horizon and lighting up all this mist and melting all the frost. Woo! So this was the image that I decided to release on social media. It was my favorite position of Venus and I really liked the hikers on the mountain because they, they changed between every image that I captured. I didn't bother doing any stacking multiple images for noise reduction. A single exposure was fine. There wasn't really that much noise in the image, but I just love the crescent shape on Venus. It's just so different to the moon. There's something very unique and delicate about it but i love the perspective and the, the depth that those human figures give it and the fact that this is another planet which is so far away it's it's just crazy so let me show you guys how i planned this photo because obviously it takes quite a bit of precision right well that was probably a pretty quick vlog <laughs> but i think it's a good time to explain how I planned this shot because you have to be in a precise location to get Venus above the mountain that I wanted. And I'm using an app called Planet Pro, which is very similar to PhotoPills, but it has a few features that PhotoPills doesn't have. So for example, here I've plotted the camera position and the, the scene position. So I know that Venus is rising in the Southeast. I picked my target subject, which was the mountain. And then I look for candidate roads and paths in the Northwest so that I can face Southeast. So I found this road that runs through the national park and then go on Google Maps and use the street view mode to see if there's a nice clear view of the mountains and lo and behold there was and because this road runs sort of north to south I've got a lot of freedom to get myself into the perfect position um, to get Venus rising above the mountains. So uh, after that I refine my position and as you can see from the top I've also picked Venus so uh, inside Planet Pro you can see it's a bit chaotic there but there's an orange ball and a line which shows the position of Venus at that sort of date and time. Ah please stop driving past I'm trying to make a, a tutorial here hurry up come on bye bye. <laughs> so 
There's a line for Venus and I've sort of put myself in a position such that the line of Venus lines up with um, the mountains in the distance there. And then another feature of Planet Pro that I absolutely love is the virtual reality mode. So if I press this little square box in the bottom right corner, I can choose Viewfinder VR, VR standing for virtual reality. And this basically uses 3D terrain data to create a virtual reality scene. And you can see here that it's created the mountains, the um, topography of the mountains based on 3D terrain data. And I've chosen my focal length, 400 mil. You could change the focal length to 600 mil or whatever you plan to use. And it simulates the, the image. And I can fast forward a minute and see how Venus is gonna pass by the mountains. So not only can you simulate the focal length, you can simulate the landscape. And with Planet Pro, you can also plan more than just Milky Way. It's got the planets, all the stars, even has Comet Leonard. Um, and I just absolutely love this virtual reality mode. So I hope you found today's video useful, guys. Feel free to check out the other tutorials and vlogs on my channel. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're going out to enjoy the night sky anytime soon, I wish you good luck and clear skies.